All right, so we've uh, we've gone through and we've uh, attached the the heat or we've we've melted the heat and bond, attached the dacron all the way down to within about a foot. And once you get past the part here, you know, where all these wrinkles are, the first the, the middle four feet or so of the boat, you see it's much smoother here. And you can also start as you're as you're melting, you can also start pulling it down and forward a little bit here, and that helps keep it a little bit smoother. But you can see the difference between this end of the boat and the middle of the boat. So now we're going to talk about finishing the ends. Uh, the first step is to pick a side that you're going to work on, because you're going to do one side and then the other. And then you'll take your iron, and if you remember we left this short right about in here with the, where we melted and attached it. So at this point you're going to come down just past the, uh, just past the bend in the boat right there, where the, uh, where the curve starts. You're going to come right about down in that area. And if you go too far, don't worry about it. It's still still melted. Just peel it back and do it again. Doesn't hurt anything. So I'm going to start on that side first, so that we can show you on this side what it looks like. So the way the way I do this is you're pulling down and away. You probably I'll probably go ahead and show this side over here. Go ahead and show it over here real quick. So you can see it's loose right here. When you pull it down and away, you can see how it tightens up. It doesn't have to be tight because you're going to shrink it, but you can see it does make a nice clean fit at that point. So what I do is I try and get that nice clean fit like that, pull it around, and then go down here just below the gunnel and put a clamp on it just to hold it in place to, to make sure I got everything really where I want it. Now if you'll notice up here, there's a little bit of a crease right there. It's not a big deal. We're going to take that out. So at this point, I take a pencil. I go ahead and switch sides again. I'll work from here. Take a pencil, and you know you're pretty close at that point. So mark, mark the edge of this piece. It doesn't have to be exact, just so you've got a reference line to make sure you pull it back where it needs to go. And again, I've got a little bit of a crease right here. That means I didn't melt it far enough. So I'm going to grab the iron again. And I'm going to just sort of tug that crease out of there and just melt it through the crease. And you can see now we're nice and smooth around that corner. Now the next step is the scariest part because you're going to be cutting this Dacron that you care so carefully put on. So you're going to pull it tight, make a crease. I like to use just a blade by itself. I don't like to put a utility knife in there. And then go somewhere close to it, come through. And stuff, stuff does cut. It likes to fight you a little bit, but it does cut. And so what you're trying to do is you're trying to you're trying to go up close enough where you can fold the other piece over, but not so close that you leave a gap. So you're going to work your way up there using, using your blade. So I'm going to go another inch and a half or so. Still not quite there, so I'm going to go just a little bit more. And then you kind of test fit it. You do that and then you fold this piece over. You're not going to worry about exact fit right now. You're going to fold this piece a little bit over and see how it looks. And that's what you're going to be looking for in the final finish. See the way that one's folded over the first one. And then you can shrink this back around. So that's pretty close to where we want to be. So now we're going to get the iron back. Actually this, because you want to hold this in place, I actually will staple these on there first. Uh, be very careful that your staple goes into the wood, doesn't go into your Dacron. Again, you're pulling it down and away from the boat at this point. That'll be enough to hold it. And 
and grabbing your little tab right here, careful not to burn your fingers, you're going to pull this across and you're going to melt it onto the stem. I know this is kind of a long video, but this is, this is these are the steps. All right, so during our short break there, we, uh, we trimmed off this first piece of Dacron, left about a quarter inch or so, just because you don't want to get it too close. Now I left the staples in, I just pounded them in, make sure they were flush. Uh, you can take them out if you want, doesn't really matter. And then I ran another piece of heat and bond, melted it over the top of the Dacron, and peeled the, uh, peeled the paper backer off it. So now we've got this piece is in place, of this piece of Dacron, it's melted. Uh, and then there's another piece of uh, heat and bond here. We're getting ready to put the other seam across. So, you know, we, fit, we fitted this earlier, sort of a trial fit. And now you can see there's plenty of, plenty of heat and bond up here. So you're going to pull it across like that. And you're going to make a nice, nice, tight, nice, tight edge right there. You want it to be a good, tight fit. You can shrink it down a little bit later. But this is one of those places where you do want to pull it tight. So let me go grab the iron. We're not going to staple this one. Can you see that? Okay, so this one, we're going to iron it in place. We have the heat and bond right underneath there. So that's down. Now I'm going to just push on it for just a second. It's not hot, a little bit hot, not bad. Now this is one of those places where you are going to pull the Dacron a little bit. And if you can, if you can see, it's got a wrinkle right here. And when you pull it down, like we did on the other side, when you pull it down and forward, that wrinkle mostly goes away. You don't have to get rid of all of it. So this one, we're going to work our way down. Pull it forward. Get it pretty close to where you want it. Put your little clamp on there. That'll hold it roughly in place. And now we're just going to, going to pull the wrinkles and creases out of it. And just... Run the iron over it. I want to make sure these are really well melted right here. Especially the places here where it's doubled over, you got to put a little extra heat on it to uh, make sure the heat goes all the way through. And at that point, that end is on there. Uh, we'll go back and we'll trim this down, obviously, and uh, once, this, uh, once this cools down and hardens, and that's how you finish an end. So now we're gonna take a break. I'm gonna finish the other end, and uh, then we're gonna come back and show you how to shrink the fabric.